Hello folks and welcome. In this video we're going to learn how to quickly get started with Callfire's call tracking product. This is a product that lets you rent a local or toll-free number and set that number up to forward calls to a number of your own. So to get started we'll first press on the button that says create or we could press on the button that says buy numbers but we'll start with going to create and we'll go to inbound campaigns and we'll press the words call tracking and we'll press purchase numbers. We could also press on the, on the words add numbers over there as add-ons. We can purchase local and toll-free numbers. If we want a local number, we can search for that number by area code or by uh, prefix or exchange. The exchange or the prefix being the second set of three numbers in a telephone number. So if I wanted a number in the 415 area code, for example, I could type in 415 and press search. And Callfire would uh, show me all the 415 numbers that we have uh, in stock, if and then some. If I wanted a number that was local to a certain area in the 415 area, 415, by the way, is the ge uh, general part of the San Francisco Bay Area, I could type in the exchange that I know. I could try to find a number specific to that. Now, granted, it's likely that Callfire won't be able to find me an exact match, but it might be able to find me another number that's local to that same exchange. Try this example. Looks so like there's no ex exact matches, but that's okay. I also search for number by zip code. So if I got rid of those two things right there and typed in 90401 or a zip code over here in Santa Monica, looks like there are a couple of uh, numbers of Callfire found me. If I wanted a toll free number, I could click on toll free numbers and I could select from any of the toll free numbers that Callfire has in stock and add them to my cart. Let's go ahead and go with a local number. I'll search a 415 number. Press search. I'll go with this one over here. If I want to remove a number, I could do that by by pressing the remove button over here. I'm fine with this number, and I'll go ahead and I'll press the purchase numbers uh, button. Okay. Looks like I already have a credit card on file. If you don't, you'll need to go ahead and enter one. I'll go ahead and agree to the terms of service, and I'll press confirm purchase. Okay, here's my receipt. I can print it if I want to, or I can go ahead and return to Callfire, which is what I'll do. You can even show the details of my purchase over here. And it looks like it went through because total says a dollar. Okay, so if we go to numbers, there's my number over here. Generally speaking, it takes anywhere from uh, one, from I'd say 10 minutes up to 24 hours for my number to be ready to receive phone calls. If I want to use this number for text messaging, in other words, if I want people to send text messages to this number, I would just have to text the word subscribe. Again, if I want people to receive text messages, uh, or send text messages rather to this number, all I'd have to do is text the word subscribe to that number, and then it would be ready to receive text messages. The status would change from pending to off. So if I'm ready to configure that number, all I would need to do is check off the box to the left of the phone number and press configure tracking. First thing you would need to do is tell Callfire the number I want to forward calls to. So I'll go ahead and forward calls to the Callfire support number over here. Now there are a bevy of features over here that we can configure. I'll try to go through them as quickly as I can um, without skirting over any of them. However, I will mention that in addition to seeing these little tool tips or question marks over here, which explain how these features work in more detail, you can always consult with the help documentation over here as well. One of the most popular things to do is record all of the phone calls so I can check that off. I can also configure the numbers so that when I get an incoming call, I'm prompted to press one uh, before accepting that phone call. I can also enable a virtual voicemail box on the call fire side uh, should that call not transfer to me. Why would I want to do that? Well, let's say that I don't want those calls, uh, if I miss them, going to my cell phone's voicemail box. By enabling a virtual voicemail box on the call fire side, then those missed calls then all go to the call fire voicemail box that's in my account versus my cell phone's voicemail box. If I choose to uh, enable voicemail if the call is not transferred, I need to make sure that I have a failed transfer message. And that failed transfer message would sound something like, hey, sorry I missed you. And then call fire by default will have a little greeting that says, please leave your message at the tone. So again, if you want to have a virtual voicemail box with your call tracking number, the two additional things you need to make sure you do are check off enable voicemails if not transferred, then also create a fail transfer message. Just one little tip or trick that uh, most people tend to overlook. 
If I wanted to have an intro message, maybe saying something like, this call might be recorded for quality purposes. That's where I'd insert that. A whisper message is really cool. It's essentially a little greeting or alert that only you hear after answering the call, letting you know where that call is coming from. So for example, let's say that I had this 415 number advertised in a magazine. That whisper message could say something like, this is a call coming from your magazine ad. And then I would hear the lead's voice. That way I'm primed to say certain things. I can also set it up where if someone calls after hours, a different message is played all together. We can uh, integrate this number so that every time someone calls it, all those uh, calls are then logged as events in your Google Analytics account if you have one. And of course, you can also set it up so that you get an email notification anytime someone calls or sends a text message to this number. I'll go ahead and press finalize. Okay, looks like it's still pending, so I'll go ahead and call the number and we'll see what happens. Excellent, that call successfully forwarded. So if we go ahead and refresh my screen over here, we'll see that in fact the reporting updated. Now it's on at least. Let's see if we now have updated reporting. Yep, looks like there, it shows two calls came in and there was a one transfer. If we go look at the reporting in further detail, we'll go ahead and press the phone number itself. We can go over here and see how many calls came in by date, by time of day, by day of week. Go to the call records section and see what number is called. Now there are two legs to every phone call. Uh, the first leg of the call is of course the uh, setup before the transfer and then the actual transfer. So the number that you really want to pay attention to on the numbers page is transfers. That represents the actual number of transferred calls that came in. And in a perfect world, the number of calls will always be double the amount of transfers because there are in fact two legs to every phone call that comes into your call tracking number. I go to call records, I can see each phone number that has come in. If I want to play uh, here what the recording was of that call, I could uh, stream it by pressing the circle or I could download it pressing the square with the down arrow and the box. If I want to change my call settings, I could do that over here and make sure that anytime I change my settings, I always bust the green apply button. Well, that's all that I wanted to show you today with setting up your first call tracking campaign. Should you seek further assistance, you can always go to the help section where we have robust documentation. You could always call us at 877-897-3473, or you could always send an email to support at callfire.com. And lastly, we also have live chat support from 11 a.m. Eastern to 7 p.m. Eastern, Monday through Friday. Again, thanks for watching. Hopefully you feel that we've uh, lit a path to success for you. And bye for now.